بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم ما بعد البريش تو الله جل جلاله ومن والوه who has afforded us this bounty of iman and has revealed to this ummah the Quran the Quran will never be outdated we can marvel about the modern inventions we can marvel about the 21st century we can marvel in the era that we are living in but it is in no comparison and will not come close to the Quran said Kaab Ahbar رضي الله عنه say عليكم بالقرآن hold steadfast to the Quran فإنه فهم العقل because your intelligence will increase and your understanding will increase through the barakah of the Quran ونور الحكمة and it is a light that will bestow one with حكمة and wisdom وينابع العلم and it is a fountain of knowledge a person who engages in the Quran will have a fountain of knowledge that is unlimited وأحدث الكتب أهدا بالرحمن and it is the most modern it is the most recent it is most up to date if we're talking about current and contemporary in all fields then there's nothing close to the Quran the Kalam of Allah so whether it's the future whether it is the present the Quran surpasses everything else likewise if we're looking for pleasure and enjoyment some people find it in haram in music in sports in every end avenue but the ultimate pleasure lies in the Quran Hassan Basri Rahimallah you say تَفَقَّدُ الْحَالَى وَتَفِي ثَلَاثِ If you're looking for pleasure and ecstasy then don't look for it in drugs don't look for it in alcohol look for it في الصلاة وفي القرآن وفي الذكر in Salah in Tilawat and in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَإِنْ وَجَدْتُمُوهَا Engage in this and when you find it فَمْضُوا وَبْشِرُوا continue on your stride and know that you are amongst the fortunate the very few chosen servants of Allah imagine finding the pleasure and enjoyment today whether it's whatsapp whether it's youtube whether it's a different avenues of la ya'ni and channels if it is not utilized properly in the avenues where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants then it is la ya'ni if it is within the confines of shariat in the parameters of deen then فَبِهَا وَنِعْمَةً but a person, person should use it according to necessity and need فَإِن لَمْ تَجِدُوهَا فَعْلَمْ أَنَّ بَابَكَ مُغْلَقٌ if you don't find this enjoyment and pleasure in salah, tilawat and dhikr then remember very well your door is closed your door is sealed the door between you and Allah one should get worried like how a person's door is open to darkness and he gets enjoyment and pleasure in darkness people can spend nights awake weeks in different forms of enjoyment and pleasure and merrymaking but that's the pleasure and enjoyment of darkness remember there is a pleasure and enjoyment for the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's why Abu Aliya rahimahullah he was amongst the great ta'een you say يَأْتِي عَلَى النَّاسِ الزَّمَنْ تَخْرُبُوا سُدُورُهُمْ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ a time will come in humanity where their hearts will be corrupted and they will be deprived of the Quran so much so وَلَا يَجِدُونَ لَهُ حَلَاوَةً وَلَا لَذَاذَةً they will not find any halawa, any sweetness any enjoyment, any pleasure, any ecstasy in the Qur'an so much so إِنْ قَصَرُوا أَمَّا أُمِرُوا بِهِ قَالُوا if they 
have any shortfalls in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they'll say, Inna Allah ghafoorun rahimun, Allah is forgiven, don't worry. Wa in amilu bima nuhu anu, and if they commit haram, they will say, Sayyughfaru lana, we will be forgiven. We didn't do any bad things, we did not make shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, the kalam of Allah is a channel which we need to channel our energy and our potential. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open up to a person based on his desire and ambition for the Qur'an. Likewise, people are desirous for lessons, advices, good orators, poetry, prose, whatever you call it, novels, but we will not come close to the kalam e Park, the Kalamullah. Abdullah ibn Umar used to say, Alaykum bil Qur'an. Hold steadfast to the Qur'an, learn it and teach it to your children. فَإِنَّكُمْ عَنْهُ تُسْأَلُونَ Because Allah will ask you about it, you will be questioned. Even your children, does my, do I know how to read Qur'an? Do I know how to read Qur'an with tajweed? Maulana Abrarul Haq, Harudai Rahmatullah used to say, people say, Alhamdu. He said, there's no Alhamdu in the Qur'an, it's Alhamdu. So, reading Qur'an is reading Qur'an with Tajweed and all the laws. And you will be asked about it. Likewise, our children, how much have we channeled their energies? How much time do we make sure they never ever miss Madrasa one day? There's an appointment, do we make it in Madrasa time or not? Likewise, the shock and desire to become Hafiz of Qur'an, we should channel them in dire that direction. And if Allah gives tawfiq, then to become knowledgeable of the Qur'an, ulama to understand the Qur'an, وَبِهِ تُجْزَوْنَ And like that you will be rewarded accordingly. وَكَفَى بِهِ وَعِذًا And thus is a means of taking lesson and benefiting from the Qur'an if a person engages in the Qur'an. So, if we see that even a lot of kuffar, even in the time of Nabi والسلام, the idol worshippers, Umar radiallahu an, who was out to assassinate Nabi والسلام, to the barakah of the Qur'an, Allah gave him hidayat. So, a, a, an assassin became a Khalifa to the barakat of the Qur'an. If that was the power of the Qur'an for a kafir, if a believer can take benefit from the Qur'an, then how much change and revolution can he see in his life? So, a kafir coming out of darkness can see the light of Qur'an by accepting Iman in Islam, then how much light will the people of Iman see? Ali Salman, who was a French doctor of medicine, accepted Islam and his reason was, his conversion was because of the Qur'an. He looked at uh, the Western intellectuals and the different books and research was there and he looked at the Qur'an and saying it was revealed so many centuries ago, but it had information which m most modern scientific research did not have. And that was uh, the means of him converting to Islam. So compared to any other scripture, and he used to say, it is like the sun compared to the match. And he believed that anybody who read the Kalam of Allah with a mind that is not closed to the truth will surely become a Muslim. If any kafir had to read the Qur'an and his mind wasn't sealed, then definitely that person would accept Islam. So let's take the example of these ayah ya, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the development of the embryo. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ طِينٍ We certainly created man of an extract of clay. ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُطْفَةً فِي قَرَارٍ مَكِينٍ then you made him a small seed in a firm resting place. ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا الْنُطْفَةِ عَلَقَةً Then we made the nutfa into a clot. What does it mean? That uh, 
This nutfa which is a water gushing forth comes into man and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala transports it. Then Ikrama says, this is blood. فَخَلَقْنَا الْعَلَقَ مُرْغَى Then we made the clot into a little lump of flesh. فَخَلَقْنَا الْمُضْغَةَ عِظَامًا We made out of this lump of flesh bones. That is we gave it shape with the head, arms, legs, nerves, veins. Then فَكَسَوْنَا الْعِظَامَ لَحْمًا Then we clothe the bones with flesh. ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخر. Then we brought forth another creation. That is we breathe the soul into it. It became a new creature that could hear, see, understand and move. ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخر. Then we brought forth another creation. Ibn Abbas says, We change it from one stage to another until it emerged as an infant. Then it grows from there into stages from a child to adolescence to youth to mature age to an old man and then to senility. So these various stages one researcher after preparing his thesis received this, these ayat from a Muslim professor. And when he did research he corrected his thesis and he accepted Islam and he would say it's not possible for 13 centuries ago for somebody to have had this knowledge. Even the modern phase was the third uh, generation where modern equipment was developed from the 1940s onwards. We call it the instrumentation era where we had electron microscopes, sophisticated imaging tools and modern embryology was very recent. The development was in its initial stages and with the invention of the microscope only around the 17th century, recognizing the concept of human development was not possible. And famous scientists, uh, anatomists, embryologists was also recently in the last two or three decades and one of the most eminent scholars, Keith Moore, who was an authority in the field of embryology, surveyed what Quran had to say. And uh, he said that it was not, even 30 years before that, it was not possible for anybody to have known. In 1981, he said that uh, he was happy that statements of the Quran about embryonic development became known that Muhammad Sallallahu was the Nabi of Allah. So he also acknowledged and he said that it was not possible many centuries before this and it proves that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi was the Nabi of Allah. Likewise other researchers, a chairman of the Baylor College of USA said that it is a guide for science in the future, the Quran and Islam is a guide, it could be a guide for science in the future. Another anatomist from the USA, Johnson, was surprised. He was a, a scientist and he believed that Muhammad Wasallam was receiving information from somewhere else. It could not be anywhere besides divine intervention. A professor in Germany gave the students an essay to prepare description of vastness, immensity. So different students came, students came with their treaties, their paper and one Muslim student came and his entire essay was this ayah of the Quran. يَوْمَ نَقُولُ لِجَهَنَّمْ هَلِمْ تَلَأْتِ وَتَقُولُ هَلْ مِمْ مَزِيدٌ Where Allah Jalla Jalalu will address Jahannam and ask Jahannam are you full? Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said لَأَمْ لَأَنَّ جَهَنَّمَ مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ وَالنَّاسِ أَجْمَعِينَ So Allah will fill Jahannam with jinn and insan. So even though it's filled but Jahannam's vastness will be such it will say هَلْ مِنْ مَزِيدٌ It's like somebody can I have more, can I have more? You prepare a da'wat for someone 
and you brought the starters and it's a seven course you brought the pre starters you brought the refreshments you brought the savories then you brought the first course second course third course then you bought the end course then you brought the desserts first second third course dessert and when you finished everything and you wait in for his comment and he says hal mim mazid are you going to serve supper anytime when are you going to send the food so when the professor read this ayah he agreed 100% and he gave the student a 100 marks this is one ayah of the quran so the quran has many miracles walaqad yassarna alquran lidhikri fahal min mudakir allah has made the quran easy fa inna ma yassarnahu bi lisanika Allah made it easy for Nabi alayhi salatu was salam they were hufad alama Abu Munzir Hisham ibn Muhammad in 204 AD was a master of the field of lineage he had expertise in history and unmatched in the weeks field of lineage and history he said i have learned in such a way nobody has ever learned and his uncle used to scold him because he never memorized the Quran so one day he felt ashamed and he said he will not stop not do anything until he memorized the Quran and consequently he never the left the house for 3 days and he became a hafizul Quran in 3 days alama asma'i also 213 hijri memorized the Quran in 3 days he also memorized some poetry 12000 poems of zajr by memory then youngsters who memorized the Quran Alama Ibrahim ibn Said says that the child of four years was brought in the court of Khalifa Ma'mun al-Rashid. The child recited the Quran fluently and he was aware of the rulings of Sharia. So a child of four years of age was a Hafiz of, Hafiz of Quran. The founder of Darul Jawab and Mala Muhammad Qasim Nanotwi was not a Hafiz was a great scholar and debater of his time when living for Hajj the moon of Ramadan was sighted when they boarded the ship the travelers musafirin wanted to read tarawih and there was no hafiz Malana was not a hafiz people insisted so he used to learn one juz one part of the Quran during the day and recite it at night in tarawih that's how he learned the entire Quran the founder of Jamia Faruqiyah and the head of Wifaqul Madaris Hazrat Mala Sheikh Al Hadith Salimullah Khan rahmatullah alayhi who was a quite a, a great scholar and uh, Wifaqul Madaris which have around 7000 institutions in Pakistan in his introduction to Kashful Bari he mentions the uh, incident of memorizing the Quran he said while he was a student in Darul Dioban he used to come home during the holidays and he thought so i should memorize the quran so every day he started learning one day quarter para one day half some one para some one and a half and like thus in 27 days he memorized the entire quran and recited it in tarawih so this is the power of the quran wa laqad yassarna allah has made it, the quran very easy Allah has made it very simple وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلْذِكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرٍ So we need to engage in the Quran we should need to spend time on the Quran and see how we can benefit and maximize from the Quran there was a professor at university and he was holding a glass up with some water and he asked him how, how much does it weigh what do you think some said 50 some said 100 some said 125 so he said what would happen if i hold this for a few months they said uh, nothing he said what about an hour they said it will become heavy it will ache about a day he said it will become numb maybe you will have to be hospitalized so the ustad said did the weight of the glass change they said no So he said what caused the arm to ache and the muscles So the students were puzzled then one student said put the glass down so the professor said exactly So the kalam of Allah has the nur of hidayat and if we open it randomly during Ramadan once a year 
then it is only for that moment that will benefit, which is not void of benefit. And if, if we have to do it, but it should be that we make a niyat, that after Ramadan also we will not close the Kalam of Allah. And the longer you hold the Kalam of Allah, the more weight it becomes on the heart. And the more he diet, the heart starts absorbing until a stage where shaitan and batil and evil becomes paralyzed. So let us make a near to utilize this Quran well. The amal for today was that to be patient when a child passes away three children. And they do not become balir illa talaqqawhu min awabil jannah al thamaniya they will receive him at the eight doors of Jannah min ayyima sha'a dakhala and he will enter from whichever door he wants udkhulul jannah a person will be brought uh, on the day of Qiyamah and his children will be at the door of Jannah and he will be told to them enter Jannah and they will say no we can't enter until our parents enter Jannah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين